What is up, guys? Welcome back to Still Slaps. I am Shuby, songwriter, producer, rapper here for Still Slaps. Today, today, guys, we have a new leak track from the one and only Drake and Jack Harlow that blew up the internet yesterday. I mean, blew up. You guys, this video might get, uh, it might get blocked because this track, I guess, is being, I guess, whoever leaked it, I, I, I don't know how they got it or if it, if this is just some buzz hype that the label is doing for Jack Harlow because his album is coming out, but left and right, this thing is getting, this thing is getting blocked. So if it gets blocked, I'll just have to re-upload some commentary. So consider yourselves very fortunate if you clicked on this video and you hear audio or you hear the whole thing because we are not holding back this thing is fire and i'm gonna do the best i can to, to listen to the bars and break it down uh it'll be my first time doing that obviously i'm a rapper myself i'm a lyricist myself songwriter myself so i i understand you know how to you know piece together and kind of you know pick out certain portions so let's get started guys this is jack harlow drake new leak here we go Sometimes when I sit back and really let it register, I did everything I said I would and said it first. <laughs> I mean, the world's in denial, but they all know what I'm headed for. <laughs> we about to feed these youngins to the metaverse. Meanwhile, I'm over here just trying to pen a verse. Cause I'm done being extra with the extroverts. The label used to wonder how I'm supposed to stand next to verse. Okay, so Jack Harlow coming in nice already with his cadence. Jack, I've commented on this in the first class reaction. If you didn't see that, click the link below. Check it out. Jack Harlow knows how to have that smooth cadence, you know, uh, with his vocal delivery when he's dropping these bars. And the bars there, I love the internal the internal rhyme scheme that he had going with extrovert, uh, metaverse, um, ex, um, uh, I forget what the other, but he had that internal scheme going there. Really, really nice. Just really some nice wordplay that he's delivering early on. Let's keep it going. To work. Probably never thought that I would get these legs to work. I work hard, but hard shit don't need no extra work. That's why I show up in a sweatshirt and let it burn. The world's mine. I just say. I work hard, but hard shit don't mean extra work. Ah, fire. Get let it turn. The girl's mine. I just say fuck it, have a turn. The goats call me to the side, like can we have a word? I could have fronted, but I did this shit how I prefer. I, prefer. Mm. I know I should be humble, but it's something I just haven't learned. Soon enough, I had to make these bad habits burn. Soon enough, we about to come and get the shit we earned. You not a fan now, but I remember when you used to be fanned out. I guess it when the whole world loves you, people only got one way to stand out. All that time in the kitchen finally panned out. I put some flavor in the pot and took the bland out. I know my grandpa would have a heart attack if I pulled a hundred grand out. So I'm not gonna pull a hundred grand out. I'm hip hop, do you fully understand? I'm fully automatic with the jams and it don't jam. At the shows, I'm about to start handing out programs. Cause y'all need to get with the program. <laughs> I'm a grown ass man, call me pops, fuck around and take your phone ass man. Everybody know Jack, but they don't know Jack, man. They just know I got the flow, goddamn. Woo. I'm gonna tell you right now I'm not the biggest Jack Harlow fan I still have to give myself time to actually go into his discography but so far this is the best Jack Harlow verse I've ever heard and he's been out uh, obviously the his biggest uh song what's popping and then translate uh transition over into bigger uh records industry baby all those good tracks but that it, that verse right there that gave me some hope that Jack Harlow can actually grow into into being uh, so much more of a pronounced lyricist and rapper. I love his smooth. I, I'm going to keep saying it, his cadence. He's got it down. He's got that cadence and that smooth delivery down, down packed. So great. I love the schemes there. The wordplay, it was just really the way he structured the verse to the structured the verse uh to sound, you know, when it came down to the to the lyrics. It wasn't really like too deep of a met too deep metaphors going. I mean, he had that that e th those uh easy metaphors when he was talking about cooking in the kitchen. Obviously, he's talking about his tracks, he's talking about his music. He took the bland out, all that hard work in the kitchen, finally paid out, took the bland out of the pot, put some sauce in it. And he sure enough is proving his point with this. 
Yeah. Come on, Drizzy. This is fire. Listen to this. Yeah. Cold hearts and heated floors. No parental guidance. I just see the voice. Therapy sessions. Ah! Cold hearted but heated floors no parental no parental advisory i just see divorce yo drake this verse this verse right here is 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 drake is 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 uh ai drake allen iverson lebron michael jordan all of that that fir those first three lines he just daddy jack's whole joint with those first three lines Cold hearted, but heated floors. No parental advisory. I just see divorce. You got to think about Drake's situation currently with Adondis. Obviously, he's 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 dealing with being a co-parent. He's had the history of dealing with co-parenting co from his own uh, upbringing in his childhood. So it's just so the way that flowed into that verse. And and what he said, what he what he the way he's describing what it's doing to his emotional stability, his emotional stability. Look at my veins busting out of my. This ver let's keep it going. Room reading Forbes. Abandonment issues. I'm getting treated for. How much water can I fit under the bridge before it overflows? My son's gotta learn that forgiveness is a lonely road. The cribs on his wheel like motorhomes. Niggas love to try and test us like they know what we own. Chubb's got the magazine cover like Rolling Stone. Cause we already know how they ride, they throwing stones. Whenever you getting bigger, there's growing pains. I gotta know. The Rolling Stones scheme. Rolling Stones, like the rock band, but the magazine, but also that's a triple entendre. Talking about how. Mm -hmm. Got enough pull to make the city start throwing games. I'm out here making a mockery. I got my realtor out here playing Monopoly. How can I address you when you don't own property? They only finesse you when you. How can I address you when you don't own property? That's that slick Jay-Z sort of like, and Drake's good for that. Drake's great for that. That's that slick talk. Like, I'm on a whole, I can't address you. I own, I own out here, fam. You don't own. You don't even know the value of being an owner. I can't even address you. You don't own property. My realtors are out here playing Monopoly. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. This verse, when I first heard this verse, oh my God, I lost my mind. I, I hit the hit the group chat with the homies and told them, yo, yo, yeah, yo, yeah, this Drake verse right here. Oh my God. This is almost 10 minutes long. You when you don't move properly, destined for the win, but you don't get a prize out of me. I'm destined for the top, but you can't get a rise out of me. 750 for the round canaries and they glittering. Man, you niggas drop trash, you littering. I'm over delivering to the point it's belittling. I mean, the PTSD is triggering. The profit is sickening. The stones are shimmering. Came from the north, but I got hot as fuck, so ain't no shivering. Yeah. Lucky me, people that don't fuck with me are linking up with people that don't fuck with me to fuck with me. The shit is getting ugly. And every situation is transactional and everything they're saying is irrational. And every way they're moving is promotional. Everybody's acting irreplaceable. It's like they ain't disposable. My urges for revenge are uncontrollable. I know we're getting older though. Yeah. But I gotta get in. Okay, 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 okay. So so now we're getting into I love the way this is this verse is painting Drake's imagery on his career. That's why this verse is so beautiful. It from the start, the way the writing started from from his upbringing and to tying into his personal experience. And then also he's about to get into obviously the, what people are deeming as the Pusha T subliminals. This is just a great weaved verse into the way Drake is talking about the transitional points in his career. When you can write like that and you can give the imagery that you're that he's giving, you ain't gonna lose. Nah. 
Get a nigga back for that, it's non negotiable, it's not even debatable. I'm getting so rich, my music's not even relatable. I blow my ah. up, it's an inflatable. Baby blue G class, I feel like a kid again. Praying on my downfall, don't make you religious, man. All I hear is plug talk coming from middleman. Oh, no, 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 no. This man is crazy, yo. Praying on my downfall, don't make you religious, man. Praying on my praying for me to lose is not going to benefit you. It don't make you, it doesn't give you the faith you need to push to do something. All I hear is plug talk from the middleman. This is where we're getting into now. Uh people are saying this is probably the push a T uh this uh subliminal, which I have my own thoughts about that, but it sounds buttery uh, currently. Let's go. Man, all I hear is tall tales coming from little men. When I say bitch, I'm very rarely referring to women. Most of the bitches I know are niggas, they not even women. I know it sounds like I'm being funny, I'm not even kidding. Same ones that say they run a the game when they not even in it. To be honest, y'all financial situation is my biggest motivation. And how you should take that statement is based on what you're making. Whips and chains like the dominatrix. If I see how spitting your faces. Daytona's with the green faces, Kentucky Derby races, my presence in the spot is so abrasive, box at the church hill. Yo, I'm going to tell you, if that's a, if that is indeed, which we could say subliminal, if that is a, if that's a diss, that's a diss. That diss right there, what he did with the dominatrix, two chains, whip you like the dominatrix, and then now he's talking about uh, the Daytona with the green faces. Daytona, the time of luxury, the, the watch, but the green fa yo, <laughs> yo, Drake gonna get that, he gonna get tore up again if he don't stop. Kill Downs, that's motivation. Yeah. And shorty, like, you know that boy Jack is going places. I know. Yeah. And that's the track. That's the track. That's the track. Ladies and gentlemen. Drake, 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 Drake. Have you forgotten that you are in the game with uh with with the two-headed, two-headed demo Gordon demon that is Kendrick Lamar and J. Cole. And J. Cole currently is doing what he's doing. He took your beat off of off a of pipe down off of off of your uh certified lover boy. And he did, he piped up. He piped, he piped his whole smoke on that joint. And you got fooled because he mentioned your name on there in the odd uh, they, they stars to me. Nah, that Negro piped up all on your joint, bruh. You for you to do this on an unreleased Dr Jack Carlo track, you are in the conversation if you can bring this type of energy lyrically, what you are doing on this track. You barely did it on Certified Lover Boy. And why was that? Why? I don't understand. You can't get on Certified Lover Boy to the in too deep. Uh, uh, in too deep. Uh, I'm in too deep. I'm too sexy for my. You can't do that. You, with all this built up in you, you were considered to be part of the three headed monster, the three headed lyrical monster, my man. Why do we have to wait for an unreleased Jack Harlow of all people? I'm not saying Jack is bad, but you you playing you playing ball in the kids' court. You swimming in the kiddie pool. You 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 play you are playing Jaws in the kiddie pool with this verse, man. Why did you? I don't get it. I don't. Somebody help me to understand. Somebody, please help me to understand. Drake, please, man, please, please. You repping for October Zone, ten twenty four. I know. I was born on the same day. Nine ten twenty four ninety four, baby. Come on, come on, Drake. Come on, man. You're you're still. You could be in the conversation, but you can't do what you did on Certified Lover Boy and then do this. And then turn the shadow ban, like start, start, start going ghost when you've actually got great verse, great verses. 
That Negro J. Cole just did a whole London accent and killed his joint. And you still doing this and it's hit. It's, it's being hidden. Come on, man. Ladies and gentlemen, shoe beef for still slaps. Jack Carlo Drake unreleased. If you saw this and it didn't get blocked, consider yourself very, very blessed. Have a good day. Like, comment, subscribe. Jack Harlow, Drake, leak track, still slaps. That slaps.